Hi, Anthony Topping from Frame It All. Today I'm standing in our walking garden, and so I wanted to tell you a little bit about this and what makes this special. What's really nice about this is that you can put the fencing right onto the garden, which enables you to have this garden in smaller spots. You don't have to surround your garden if you have animal problems and have a little bit of a maintenance issue. So it'll fit into you know, fairly small areas. Another great thing about this is the stackability of the levels. So you can do anywhere from one up to six levels if you like. We have preset designs of two, three, and four. Because of the modularity of the product, you really can build any kind of configuration with these walking gardens. Um, we have some designs that we actually have terracing onto it. And you can take these animal barriers and terrace from one level to the next. You could also use our veggie wall trellis, which will be around this height, and stack it onto a one level animal barrier. So you can really grow plants up the uh, side walls of the garden. One thing that really makes us special comparatively to a wood or a metal is our boards. What's special about our timbers is the I-beam construction and the hollowness in the boards actually traps air in between and actually insulates the garden. And so it helps to regulate the soil so the soil doesn't become too dry or too cold or too hot. The fencing over here is for two different purposes. It's for keeping the animals out, but it's also for trellising. So as you see, we have snap peas growing up the sidewalls. So during the real growing season, um, you could have tomatoes and green beans and any kind of vine crops grow up here. And this would become one green lush wall. So we have our, our gate system that's, we're using our joints over here as the hinge, because it's a hinge design. You would, um, depending on what animals are an issue onto your property, if it's rabbits, you would just go with a couple high, two or three high with an animal barrier and that will keep your rabbits out. But if you have larger animals like deer, you want to go up higher like this. And that will keep the deer from coming into your, into your garden. So you want to have a fairly level area for your project before you place it out. So that's one of the first things you want to do with your project. To build this garden, you're mostly just going to use a hammer just to tap in the stakes. It's all stackable, so you, know, you don't have to screw in the brackets to the boards anymore. We have snap plugs that just snap the brackets onto the boards. So the only uh, screwing that you will need to do for this uh, project is the brace over here that connects the animal berry to the board and then connecting the steel braces that connect the boards together. So hammer and a few power drill screws and you're set with the uh, garden.